we are discussing levers in the human body. Hello everyone. Let's see how the human body uses physics to increase its efficiency and to reduce the muscular effort. So, our skeletal system is made up of levers where the bones represent the rigid bar. So, just let me tell you the definition of the levers. A lever is a rigid bar which is capable of movement about a fixed point. So, the bones in the skeletal system represents the rigid bar. So, this is a little muscle that is attached from one bone to the other. Now, the joints in the human body represents the fulcrum, that is the fixed point. The muscles contracts to produce the effort and the load can be anything, the, the weight of the part which is to be moved or the gravity or any external weight. Now, there are classes or types of levers. There are basically three types of levers and all these three types are present in the human body. Let's discuss the first one. So, the first class lever has fulcrum in the center. Fulcrum is always located in between the effort and the load. This class, this first class lever is known as lever of stability as you can achieve equilibrium in this type of lever. Now, let's understand this by using an example, with the help of an example. Let's imagine we have a basketball player whose name is Z and he's about to score a point and looking at the basket. So, he's extending his neck while his neck, posterior neck muscles are contracting for the neck extension. So, they're producing, they're working as effort. While the movement is taking place at the atlanto-occipital joint, which is working as fulcrum. And his face and skull are acting as load in this scenario. As you can see, the fulcrum is in between the effort and load, representing the first class lever. Let's write this down really quickly. So, the extension of neck. Another example can be extension of elbow. Now, as you see, when he, uh, when our Z is about to go, he's extending his elbows where the triceps are working as effort. The elbow joint is the fulcrum. Obviously, the moment is taking place at the elbow joint while the load is the weight of the hand along with the ball that he is about to throw. So, extension of elbow is another example of the first order lever. Moving on to the second class lever or the second order lever. In the second order lever, the load is always situated in between the fulcrum and effort. Let's see the example of Z again who was jumping, who was about to jump and is standing on his toes for the basket or for the point that he is scoring. So here the weight is falling on the center of his foot which is the load, the body weight. The posterior leg muscles are working for this moment and are working as effort while the toes are working as fulcrum. The load is in the center representing the second class lever. So here you can see when he's about to score, he's standing on his toes. All right. So this is an, the example of second order lever. Another example can be push-ups. Now, 
I just forgot to write this uh, colorful visual of the load, effort and fulcrum. So let me write it down. The load is in the center, whereas the fulcrum is on the right and the effort or is on the left. The position of fulcrum and effort can be interchanged, but the load will remain in center. Now, as we talked about push-ups, now Z is very particular in his exercises and keeping himself fit. So he is working out for his arms and shoulder muscles. So in push-ups, his arms and shoulder muscles are working as effort, while the weight of his body is working as load. And the movement is taking place at the foot. So the foot are working as fulcrum. Moving to the third class lever. I hope the above two levers are clear. Now, in this type of lever, the effort is always in the center of fulcrum and load. This class, the second class lever is known as lever of power, while the third order lever is known as lever of velocity. So as you can see, the effort is in the center of fulcrum and load. Let's understand this with the picture at the right bottom. Let's imagine Z is hitting the gym and is working on his biceps and is lifting a dumbbell. So uh, the weight is the dumbbell that he's lifting. He is contracting his biceps, which are producing or working as effort, while the movement is taking place at the elbow joint, so which is working as fulcrum. As you can see, the effort is in the center of the load and fulcrum representing the third order lever. The important thing to remember here is that we place the effort where the muscle is inserting. Always remember this. Now let's write this down flexion of elbow joint is another example of third order lever. Extension of knee joint. Let's imagine Z has a brother who is a very good football player and he is about to score a goal and is about to kick the ball. So while he's extending his knees, the foot, the weight of the foot is working as load while his quadriceps are working to bring about the knee extension and are working as effort. While the movement is taking place at the knee joint, representing the fulcrum. And because the quadriceps are attached at the tibia, so they lie in between the knee joint and the foot. Now let's write the mnemonics for all the three types of levers. So the first have the fulcrum in center, the first order, the second have the load in the center, that is L. And the third has the effort in the center, which is the third. So flea is the mnemonics. I hope this video is clear. Thank you.